the confirmation hearings for Sotomayor. Uh, the administration wants to get this done this summer. Do you think that's doable? Well, I really don't know yet. She, she has a very long record, and what they are trying to do is to insist on the shortest time frame for someone who has the longest record of any Supreme Court nominee that we've considered in recent times. I think what we ought to do is read all the cases, 3,600 cases. Uh, Chief Justice Roberts only had 320. Read the Law Journal articles, work our way through this, and um, let the facts lead us do where you, they may go. My sense of it is you, at this point, <coughs> don't have the votes to stop this confirmation, that, they, that it is going through. If it came well, to it and you decided you did not want her on the court, would you be prepared to filibuster this? Well, let me say it's way too early to be talking about whether or not anybody opposes this nominee. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have consistently opposed filibustering judges, did it during the Clinton years, but I lost that fight. Uh, the Senate will filibuster judges. That precedent was established, ironically enough, on a Hispanic American nominee so, named Miguel Estrada. So what Estrada. you're saying here is that the filibuster is still on the table. Yeah, the Democrats have concerned. firmly established that as a precedent, right. but that doesn't mean you're going to use it. And it's way too early to be, I mean, the hearings right. haven't been held yet to determine whether or not the justice uh, judge uh, Sotomayor should be opposed. All right. Senator McConnell, thanks so much Thank for you, being Bob. with us.